Welcome back, everybody. This Week in America and the Blue Funk Broadcasting Radio Network. Great to have you with us. Eric Mulberg is with us on the program today. Eric has been with us on the program before talking about uh, public access television, over 5,000 TV channels around the country. You'll see things from Little League games to city council meetings, and that's in jeopardy in some cities around the country. Eric, welcome back to This Week in America. Great to have you with us. Thank you very much, Rick. It's an honor to be here. You actually have a national title. You are like public access TV czar or well, something no. like that. Have I <laughs> Exaggerated a little just, bit? Just a little bit. A little I, bit, I serve okay. on the national board, uh, and I also chair the Indiana chapter. You're a the, czar in my eyes. Yeah. <laughs> I, I appreciate that. I, you've got, you just came back from testifying before, locally with the Indiana, where you're located, the state legislature there, as well as with the U.S. Congress. There's something called the CAP Act. And this is serious if you're a fan of public access television. This is where average people can have their television program this is a link that many of us use to get to local government, local educators. That's sort of our link to them. Tell me about the CAP Act and why the why public access is in jeopardy. Well, uh, in uh, roughly 23 states in in the U.S. have passed uh, state franchising acts, and the problem is is the traditionally these contracts have been negotiated on a local level by the municipalities, the cities, etc. And the state took those away and gave it pretty much a blank slate. It's a simple document that a cable company can fill out, and there is no oversight. Uh, funding was cut in a lot of in a lot of these uh, states. And what the CAP Act or Community Access Preservation Act would do would reinstate a lot of the funding for those access facilities, along with deal with uh, uh, AT and T's particular delivery method of the access channels, their, their UVerse system, um, which we consider to be a discriminatory practice. And, and the reason is, is a traditional, uh, like a non-commercial station would get a single channel. Yes. And that's, yes. which is, uh, and that's the way cable operates. AT&T's version is that if you're a local broadcaster, you would get a single channel. But if you are an access channel, what would happen? They would carry all of the access channels for the state on one channel, channel 99. And then you would go to channel 99, you'd get a drop down menu, you would then have to select your city, get another drop down menu, and then select the particular channels you were looking for. Now, all of this takes time to load. And again, they're treating us differently. And discourages someone who's trying, after a while, why bother? Right, everybody cable grazes, you're just flicking across those. And if you have right. to go through many menus to get there, uh, it's, it's gonna drive away viewership. So the CAP Act would address that as well and and that's what we were you know several of us with the alliance for community media were up at the uh, uh up at the capitol and talking to our congress people about that uh, we actually and, and actually had a meeting with uh, uh commissioner uh cops former chair but still serving on the commission and those are one we've got a petition before the fcc dealing with the u the u verse uh, system as well and 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 i made it a point to ask him a question and say, you know, this petition has been before you for 32 months or longer than the gestation period of an elephant. Wow. When are you going to deal with this? And they, he said, yes, we should, we should deal with that at some point. So you, and you're dealing with, uh, yeah, at some point, who, who knows what that means. By the way, you're listening to This Week in America. Thisweekinamerica.us is the website. Eric Mulberg, our guest on the program. You can find out more about the Alliance and, and the CAP Act that Eric is talking about at all, A-L-L, communitymedia.org. And you can go to our website and link on and get some information. Time going by quickly. Got a few minutes left. I want to talk about uh, the future of public access TV. Everybody's talking about funding. Everybody's talking about finding areas that, that you can cut. You're, you're fighting with this battle and also the funding battle. What does it look like for public access TV? Well, that's, that's a good question. I, something our colleagues and, you know, my colleagues and I discuss many times over. I re, because you'll hear the industry make an argument that everybody's moving to the Internet, and that's where public access should go, which is not entirely true. I think we, we just see... The, the internet and YouTube as another source that we can use for media distribution for right. access. Because yes, people could edit at home. Yes, people can have a camera. But it's at an access center that's providing the localism, the gathering place, the public green space for people to get together, to commute, not only to communicate, but also to find like minds. And I think that's what we serve. I, Considering that it is growing in Europe, uh, they're having a, a conference actually 
in uh, at the community media center in Cyprus in a, in a little less than a month. And one of the issues they're talking about is community media, access television, and the and Arab Spring. So it's using all these forms of social media to be able to you know foster dialogue for people to to find their common ground. So I. You know, if, if the funding can be secured, uh, I really think it can go forward in the future. Interesting. We've got about a minute left on the program. Eric Molberg, our guest, uh, the website allcommunitymedia.org, A-L-L, communitymedia.org, to get more information. In about the 40 seconds left and tying it back in with the CAP Act, whether you're looking for funding or whether you're fighting AT&T, it's the average person on one side and usually a pretty good lobbying group on the other side. How frustrating is it to try to move it along when you're at a financial disadvantage and you can't buy cupcakes for everybody? That's right. Yeah. Um, Interesting story. We'll talk about next time. It it may. It's frustrating, but at the at the same time, I I, both uh, all of the people that I'm working with on this as well look at it and say, you know, we are doing this because we love that portion of the media. We love what we can do for people and we love giving people a voice. So regardless of, of the odds, we're gonna to continue to do the fight. It's, a, it's not a sprint, it's a marathon. So you've got, you know, you better be in it for love and not for money. You can get all the information and find out how in your local community you can become involved by going to allcommunitymedia.org. Eric Mulberg, our guest on the program, talking about public access TV. You're listening to This Week in America on the Blue Funk Broadcasting Radio Network.